Hi you guys, it is Audrey. Uh, today I'm doing an Animal Crossing video just kind of on custom designs. I thought I would show you guys how you do custom designs, how you access them. It, the how-to part is gonna be really, really basic because my main focus is gonna be showing you guys some of my favorite custom designs. Um, I also wanna highlight just here at the beginning, I don't use custom designs that much, but I follow a ton of Animal Crossing stuff on things like Instagram and TikTok, and so I see a lot of different custom designs, and I have some that I've been like, oh, that's pretty cute. So let's just let's just go ahead and get it out of the way. First of all, if you wanna make something yourself, you obviously have your little custom designs app here. Uh, I think you need to pay for an extension in the like little Nook Miles, little kiosk in the um, plaza area in your town hall. Um, and that's how you can make these pro designs over here where you can make whatever clothes you want. I've only done it like once to make this like tank top here and I don't even wear like my custom designs. Um, and you can also do these basic ones here. And these ones you don't have to pay for. These ones you can start from the very beginning. I made like this strawberry bedding, which was super easy. It only took me like 15 minutes. And this was when I was like a week into the game maximum and I used it to customize a bed. But essentially you pick an open spot and then you can go to change design. Unless you already like it, then you can choose to wear it on your face or display somewhere. Um, you go to change design and then it pulls up this little area right here. And then you have, I think the tools is one thing. I don't remember if this is separate or if this is part of one little um, package with the pro designs, but uh, these tools do need to be unlocked later on. Um, but I barely even use them all that much. Maybe I've used the heart one like ones, but I don't even think so. I think it's really just like the fill button that I've used, but anyways, then you can go ahead and design whatever you want here. Of course, you can choose whatever colors you want at the top here as well. Um, I'm not gonna be designing anything. I've been happy with all my clothes and all that. But if you don't wanna make something, but you've seen something online that you think is pretty cool, you can go ahead and go into the Able Sisters shop here. You just gotta have the Able Sisters here. And then you can go to the back of the store. Hi there, I've already been in today, so they're not doing the whole spiel. Oh, do you wanna try on something? Um, but you can go to this little terminal right here, and then you click on it. I think you do need the Nintendo Online, unfortunately, in order to use it, because you have to connect to the internet. Um, and this is the custom designs portal. Uh, would you like to access this internet kiosk? Yes, I would. And then it'll be connecting to the internet. And this is why I think you need to. I had never tried it out before I got Nintendo, the Nintendo internet or whatever it's called, whatever I just said. Um, but then once you boot it up, you can search by design ID or by creator ID, or even post something of your own. If you're really proud of something, you can be like, yes, I want people to be able to download this, and then you can post it. Um, but I've noticed that a lot of people who post about it on TikTok or Instagram or something, a lot of them will have their creator ID as well as the design ID on there. So usually I just go for the design ID because usually it's like one thing that I like by them, that I like something specific that I want for myself. But if you have one of your favorite creators, then of course you can search by creator ID and download multiple things by them. I did do this once just because I had some designs, like five or so that I really like that I'll actually show you guys right now. So that is essentially how you access custom designs. If you wanna make your own, if you wanna post it, if you want to access someone else's. So let me go ahead and show you guys some of my favorite designs on here. I don't have too many because again, I really, even on New Leaf and stuff, I did not use custom designs nearly all that much. But I have some that I found very cute. So let's go ahead, let's look into my custom designs. My thing, I'm gonna actually really quick switch over my face cam, give me one second. <laughs> okay, so now I'm over here so you guys can see my custom designs area. I've, these are some of my own ones that I've just like messed around with over here. But as you can see at the top, these are all ones that I cannot edit. And that is because they're not my designs. They are ones that I've downloaded. These first few at the top are all ones by the same creator. I saw these on Instagram. I'm gonna, by the way, I will be having screenshots show up because of course I need to give credit. That's like basic knowledge. So if you guys want these for yourselves, um, just go ahead and pause the video, I'll have a screenshot up of the post I saw it from with the creator ID or at least the design ID for this one. So 
These five up top here, I saw these and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to use these for my orchard. I don't remember. I think I'm probably going to search this one up again because I didn't download their coconut one as well, um, which I'm going to need for my orchard, of course. But I just thought the designs were so pretty. We're going to actually really quick head out of the Able Sisters. I want to show you guys just how much I love these designs because um, I saw them and I'm like, those are so pretty and intricate. Like, oh my gosh, I can't, I struggled just making my flag for my town. So let's go ahead and open up the custom designs once more. We'll go ahead and pull out the peach one because my, my town is called Peachy Isle. So that's where you can go display here, display on ground. I think the display here, yes. So you can put it on a mannequin if it's like a clothing item. Um, but this one is a painting. I want to display it as a painting and see. So I'm planning on having my orchard set out and I'll have one of these in front of each row so I know exactly what trees I'm looking at when I'm going down my orchard. And I just thought they were so pretty. Um, so if you guys want these for yourself, of course, go ahead and pause the video, type it in on your switch or whatever. Um, but those are all together. Then we have this one right here. I just recently downloaded it. I have not tried it out for myself just yet. These ones are actually only some of the only ones that I've tried out so far. A lot of these are ones that I'm planning on trying out eventually. I don't even think I have the market stalls yet, but I saw this one as you'll see up on the screen. This one was used for market stalls and it's just little like streamer lights, which I think are so cute because I have fairy lights all up in my room and it adds so much to the atmosphere. And so I thought, oh my gosh, if I ever decide I wanna do some cute little market stalls, of course I'm gonna use this pattern on them because that's just adorable. So let me see, actually, can I display this one as a painting as well? I wanna see what that looks like, just a little bit nicer. Oops, it's flipped the wrong way. I thought this one was, that is not, excuse me. There we go. So here it is. They're just little streamer lights, little little fairy lights that you can put onto your market stalls. Or actually, there's also like the simple panels that you can have up in your room. I have a couple in my room. I, If I had some on me, I would show you guys, but they're just simple panels. They work as like small walls. And I think you can decorate those as well with a custom design. So if you want some to have lights on them, you could go ahead and use those on there. If you want your room to be covered in little walls in uh, covered in fairy lights and you can use those uh, this pattern for those as well. Um, that's what I really like about the custom designs is they're very universal. You can use them for essentially whatever you want. But so there's those. I also have here uh, another one. I obviously like my simple panels and my kind of gardeny stuff as you guys can see because this one right here is essentially just some like ivy and i was gonna put them on some simple panels and maybe put them over in the garden area i am planning which the next custom pattern is actually for that this is some like soil um and i was gonna make like little garden strips you know i don't know why i can't think of the word for that right now but essentially you can display these on the ground and see it'll make like little lines for your garden and i don't know if this is gonna line up correctly I always struggled with placing these down, but see, look, and then you can make just little lines for putting like turnips because that's all we're able to quote unquote plant for now. But I thought it would be so cute because I've been wanting to set up a little um, garden area for a bit. And so I was just going to put these all along the ground there and they'll just look like this. And then you can set your turnips on top and it's like, oh, you got a little farm going. Um, and I just thought this one was really pretty with the little little speckles in it. Um, just very, very delicate feeling. So if you guys were looking for a little soil pattern, this is the one I have on me. And of course the pattern or the, the codes will be up on the screen. I also have, I'm going to scoot over really quick so I can put these down as well. I actually have, I've seen quite a few different versions of these. This was the pattern I decided to download for myself. Um, like I've seen some from like designed after the little patterns you'd see in the grass in New Leaf. I've seen like different colored flowers, but I thought these ones were really pretty. They were like little lilies. Um, and these are just little patterns you can put on the ground to make it so you can have, like I would use it, I was planning on putting these down so it would look like I have different depths of flowers. Cause you know, you look on the ground and you'll see those little daisies popping up and they're not the biggest flowers in the world. They're just kind of delicate and sit there in the grass. And so I was gonna put, these here and see you can just put them around your flowers just to kind of spruce up your grass a little bit if you have like a big old flat patchy area just full of grass like nothing else is in there like see if i just ignore the path there you know what let's go over here excuse me can you work with me today there we go 
If I, oh my gosh, there's a present. If I wanted to fill in this area, say, like I don't think I really want to put many flowers over here, but if I wanted it to look like not just pure grass, I can put down these and it'll make it like a little bit more interesting to look at, almost like fairy tale esque And I, I really like that kind of aesthetic. And so, um, you know, obviously I want to go for that. I think it just, it makes the area a little more interesting to look at. And that's what I at least go for. Um, and so I had to download that one, but I think, let me go back over here, just in case I need to access Stable Sisters again. That's about it I download for the just normal custom designs, but I do have a couple, only like two pro designs. The first one here, I actually saw this in a TikTok, and I this was another one I used the, like, the code for the player. Uh, they have a lot of awesome avatar items. But this one, oh my goodness. So go ahead and pause the video if you want um, their code, if you wanna see some of their outfits, cause they were all very cute. I I watched Avatar when I was like seven or so, and I'm rewatching it right now with my friends, and oh my gosh, I, it's, I'm back in the full swing of things, and I know a lot of people are too. So if you want any Avatar items, I have seen a couple of them on Instagram, but this was one that made me stop because they had this really cute, Appa sweater and I was just like, oh my goodness. I need to stop for a second. Like, let me get out my camera you guys <laughs> like look Look at how cute It's Appa on a sweater like who doesn't want that? So if you're an Avatar fan like Definitely I would 100% recommend this because it's just I've already worn this a couple times The only reason I was wearing my camo tee was because it was from Kyle and I love him, but oh my goodness it's so cute and his little eyes just look adorable. So this one was definitely, a, okay, I need to get this balloon really quick. This is annoying me very much. And then I have one last custom design for you guys. Where are you? There we go. What did we get? It's a little surprise opening real quick. <laughs> I'm not gonna put those on right now. I don't need any pilot shades, um, but my last custom design actually really suits kind of what we've been doing. Um, <laughs> it's a little sable apron. I thought this was really cute because I've already been planning um, a sable cosplay for myself. I've been that's one I've really wanted to do recently. Can you not walk away right now? Thank you. I just thought it was so adorable because I, Sable's one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite, like character from the game not not including villagers like sky is my favorite villager of all time you guys already know that but i just thought it looked so cute and like i love sable and so i've worn this a couple times too i'll go in here and i'll be like hey sable look <laughs> like we're matching um because there's there's that little scenario where you walk in and you talk to sable for the day and she's like oh gotta pick out my outfit and then or she was like, I wonder what you would wear. And then Mabel goes, oh, I bet she'd wear a green apron. And Sable's like, Mabel, they don't always like what you like. It's like, I just want to look like Sable. And then I go in, I'm like, hi, what are you doing? <laughs> Out of all the days of the week, Tuesdays tend to be, tend to drag the most. <laughs> so I need to do my best to stay sharp. If the tailor made a mistake, they probably did it on a Tuesday. <laughs> oh, at least that's what mom always used to say. That was kind of sad, okay? But yeah, I don't know. I really love her. And so I saw this and I was like, yes, please, I need to save this. So if you wanna look like Sable, if you really like her too, there you go. It's pretty easy to, I saw this one paired with freckles, which I think were up on screen as well. So if you want some Sable freckles as well, you can download those. I did not download them just because I found the freckles pretty easy to make. And so I just made my own. I even have a little heart on my face too but I did, it's a little bit harder to make the Sable outfit. And so that one I definitely downloaded, but yeah, those are about all my favorite custom designs. I'll probably do an updated video eventually just because obviously that's only a few custom designs. Um, they're all somewhat specific, but I know a lot of people have orchards set up or they like, I've seen a lot of people use the market stalls and I've seen actually quite a few people make little gardens of their own. And so, if you want to use any of these, if you're trying to do some of those projects like I am, hopefully these will come in handy or you'll find something similar. Or maybe, maybe you search up the creator code and see if they have anything else you like. Um, or maybe my how-to helped you get started on your own custom designs. I'm not quite sure, but 
I'm at least hoping to make some of my own eventually. I'm gonna be looking around Instagram and TikTok more for mo more codes. So if you guys want another video, let me know in the comment section below, especially if you have your own designs you want me to check out, or if you know a really good creator and you want me to check them out, please leave their codes in the comment section below so me and other viewers can find them as well. But I think that's about it for this video. I hope it helped you guys out. I hope you guys enjoyed the designs. If not, I'll probably make another one of these videos and try finding some more designs for you guys to show off. And just ones for me to spruce up my island with. But anyways, I think that's gonna be about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. I know it's a little bit different than what I usually do, but I thought it would be fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. But thank you all very much for watching. I love you, my Doritos. Bye-bye. Peace out, homies. <laughs>